All right, the sumo deadlift. Let's talk about the setup. So let me play this. Your setup, you're setting up with really wide feet, almost uncomfortably wide. Now, as tall as I am, my feet are almost out to the plates. So I've got to be careful coming back down with this so that I don't drop this on my toe. But the, the important part of the setup here is getting your knees out wide to where they're pointed out to the sides. That's the important part here. Knees pointed out to the sides like that because you got to get your knees out of the way out of the way of the bar path. When you stand up with this thing, if your knees are pointed forward, your knees are going to be in the way. So you got to get them pointed out to the side like that. Then when you get your, you got to get your chest up, set your hands about thumb distance apart, and then they'll take the slack out of the bar first. You don't want to jerk this thing off the floor. You can think about like um, if you have a toe strap hooked up, pulling a truck out of the ditch. If you've got a whole lot of slack in that strap and you just take off, you're going to break the strap. So the strap is your back. You don't want to be taken off with a whole lot of slack in that thing. So take all the slack out and then just stand up. Stand up and squeeze your butt. Take out the slack. Stand up. Stand up and squeeze your butt. So it's almost going to be like you are standing up from a squat here. I know a regular deadlift is, uses a lot more of your back muscles, but this one really is a, a lot of legs. It's mostly legs here. Chest up, stand up and squeeze your butt. So if you think about it like this, think about knees out, chest up, take the slack out of the bar, and then just stand up and squeeze your butt. That's all there is to it.